And that ball came dangerously close to going down that slope. Instead, it dives into the cup. So Fathauer with a birdie. Set up by a terrific wedge from 138. Looking for something good to happen, and it happened right there. Boy, we've seen Ollie, I and mean, he's only one shot back. To tie the lead. Yeah, same deal, a little left to right. And he's got it. Boy, is that nice. Let's go to the eighth. Just inside four feet, straight up the hill. Ooh, sort of in the left edge there. But Patrick Rogers, a little too much might in the swing. Now a tricky play over that little plateau, and then it starts racing towards the cup. Oh, really well done, it looks like, for on. And we've got Tour Sink. He's only one shot back, and he's going to take dead aim here. Divot look nice. Swing look controlled. That should peel back. He's going to he's nice little look. The hole cut way back in the left, right on the right edge of that tree over there. Take a look at how high these guys hit it. 109, we had one yesterday. 17, what's going on there? Well, this was just moments ago. Sebastian Munoz, 24-year-old from Bogota in Colombia, from 153. How about that? Just below my tower here at 17, Munoz, a two. Moves back to two over par. Same old story, 504 yards today. A little breeze from the left. There's a two-yard fade. <laughs> it's hard to find any fault with that, Nick. I love that one. Oh, middle and dissected. It's got a tap. CT Pan, can you take the lead? There you go. Rookie showing you something here. Back at nine. And now Tony Finau can tie the lead. Yes, oh, got the read, wow, got just. the read from Snedeker. <laughs> There's what he's trying to do right there, is just hit that rip hook. 105 feet apex, so that's kind of a low bullet, and that is perfect. He'll have a really be going hunting a little bit. Now this ball will go up in the air, watch this. Does it get over your TV screen? Oh, he's gonna hit a bullet, there you go. Out of way, prove me wrong, 73 feet. Oh boy. Yeah, he hit 153 yeah, the other day. Yeah. Get the yards. Who would you pick out of these three guys? If, they're, if somebody's going to win it, out of these three, who would you take? Uh, I would have to take Snedeker because he's been there more okay. on this golf course. He's got the experience. Twice he's won here. That takes nothing away from the other two players. Yeah. Meanwhile, let's go to 10. He's got this way out to the left, doesn't he? Is that going to crawl back? Uh, it's uh -huh. fast. Two, two. That was a good look right there. And now and he made a nice bar. Let's go to the 12th tee. Here's Pan. Breeze a little more in than it was just a few minutes ago. You need to fight to hold on to that right side. Well, I, I deem that as... He was the one guy I would pick all those young kids. That's that's going to be the next guy. Can he get it here and get into a... Oh, yeah, right in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. John Rahman, he will get fired up, too. Big. 16, the par three. He's at two under. And had one below the hole in 60 seconds try that one to 14 Rahm's pretty strong in the arms too it's just a sand wedge from 124 oh similar response to the green there is uh, Charles Howells just if you just get it on top it'll stay up spawn now from about 15 feet for the par one in Knoxville Tennessee on the web.com 17. Well, it's been a long day for Phil. Many thought he'd have a good chance just four back starting the day, looking for his fourth victory here. And from 21 feet here at 17. He moves it to one under for the day. The last guy was the first time winner. Name him. Come on, guys. I know. Who? 
<laughs> Meanwhile, about Jadon Blake? I don't know. <laughs> you looked no that up. Jimmy, you looked it up. I could, I could have it possibly up. that fast. Yes, you could. Aye, 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 aye. Just right, took a push your lucky gets right. <laughs> Let's go to 16. 199. Six iron. Look at him turn that at us. Turning right back at it. it. Let's go full shot. Charles Howell the third. I was going to say it should be five aside. <laughs> How about it? Oh. Still don't believe you. Spectacular. 16. Well, he likes to hook it and he hits it high. That holds back left, and there you see the hook. There you see 116 feet. That looks pretty good. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. And he did. It's going to go right. Yeah, beautiful. Great up and down right there. Tony Finau, Bigfoot. He is, doesn't make it. He just barely misses it every time he draws his thing back. Pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, and never came back. We're gonna have another first time winner since, first one since 1991. Yeah, that is perfect. Wow, that is solid, Ian. Mm, he's <laughs> such a strong fella, Nick, isn't he? It's <laughs> okay, second for Ram. Beautiful shot. 145, look at the little smooth nine iron there. Spectacular shot. 16. Myers got eight under a couple of shots back, so he's got a, you know, maybe birdie the last three. This is 24 feet. Ooh, well, there's one of them. I mean, he is pumped, too. I mean, just over 14 feet. Right to left, about six or eight inches. Yes. That he had great vibes coming in here. And Snedeker. Simultaneously. So Brent Snedeker to nine under. JJ Sp So John Rahm looking for his first victory on the PGA Tour. It's just you can just see down there on the left of there, the right one right where he's going he's hammered it at that that's 340. so with that beautiful fade that is oh, marvelous same shot oops wow that's going to be a cart path it's got to be a couple of bounces off that now oh, maybe it uh john rahm up there at 11 these guys are trying to finish so there's no laying up Harris Angley's trying to make a one, a one. He's at eight under. <laughs> That's pretty good go at it right there. Bad break. Here's Pan up on the green, and he saves par. Oh, wow. Wasn't the most stylish chip shot. Dottie. Well, that's a five wood. 241 total, 236. Takes the hazard out of play and just saw a very oh. good visual with Paul Casey hitting the ball in that little cove where the hole's cut. Wow, where's he started it? Hammered it. Hammered a draw in there. I wasn't expecting the draw. Stuffed it in here. That just tee shot. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Harris English, he is now residing at nine. Let's go to 18. Third shot. JJ Spawn. Well, it's all about the spin factor. It's up on oh, the slope, no. and there she goes. That's, and that'll be in. They, all the grain goes down to the water, and the ripples will tell the story. Five. It's a tough shot being that close to the green. Come on back now. Come on. Come on. Not quite. Still going to leave for 12 feet. Yeah, left to right all the way. Uh, bobbled early coming out. Will it have an effect on the speed? Oh, I would, uh, this could be good. His caddy, Adam Hayes, helped him read this. Uh, so smart to get behind it, too. How about making it? Yes! Oh. Incredible! Yes, <laughs> Thank you. 
Probably just won the tournament. Well, I was going to say, with, with that one shot, that's it. <laughs> How a, I can't believe Towards the cup. Oh, really well done, it looks like, for on. And we've got Tour Sink. He's only one shot back, and he's going to take dead aim here. Divot looked nice. Swing look control. That should peel back. He's going to he's nice little look. Oh, cut way back in the left, right on the right edge of that tree over there. Take a look at how high these guys hit it. 109, we had one yesterday. 17, what's going on there? Well, this was just moments ago. Sebastian Munoz, 24-year-old from Bogota in Colombia, from 153. How about that? That ball came dangerously close to going down that slope. Instead, it dives into the cup. So Fathauer with a birdie. Set up by a terrific wedge from 138. Looking for something good to happen, and it happened right there. Boy, we've seen Ollie, I and mean, he's only one shot back. To tie the lead. Yeah, same deal, a little left to right. And he's got it. Boy, is that nice. Let's go to the eighth. Just inside four feet, straight up the hill. In the left edge there, with Patrick Rogers. A little too much might in the swing. Now a tricky play over that little plateau, and then it starts racing. Trying to do right there is just hit that rip hook. 105 feet apex, so that's kind of a low bullet, and that is perfect. You'll have a really be going hunting a little bit. Now this ball will go up in the air. Watch this. Does it get over your TV screen? Oh, he's going to hit a bullet. There you go. Out of way. Prove me wrong. 73 feet. Oh, boy. Yeah, he hit 153 yeah. the other day. Yeah. Get the yards. Who would you pick out of these three guys? If, they're, if somebody's going to win it, out of these three, who would you take? Uh, I would have to take Stenecker because he's been there more okay. on this golf course. He's got the experience. Twice he's won here. That takes nothing away from the other two players. Yeah. Meanwhile, let's go to 10. He's got this way out to the left, doesn't he? Is that going to crawl back? It's below my tower here at 17. Munez, a two. Moves back to two over par. Same old story, 504 yards today. A little breeze from the left. Oh, there's that two-yard fade. <laughs> it's hard to find any fault with that, Nick. I love that one. Oh, middle and <laughs> dissected. Let's go to 10. CT Pan, can you take the lead? There you go. Rookie showing you something here. Back at nine. And now Tony Finau can tie the lead. Yes, oh, got the read. Wow, got just... the read from Snedeker. <laughs> was a good look right there and now and he made a nice bar let's go to the 12th tee here's pan breeze a little more in than it was just a few minutes ago you need to fight to hold on to that right side well, I, I deem that as he was the one guy i would pick all those young kids that's that's going to be the next guy can he get it here and get into it oh, yeah right in the middle Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. John Rahman, he will get fired up, too. Big. 16, the par three. He's at two under. 